have uh, six items I'd like to discuss with you tonight. The first of those is the widening of Covell Parkway from Fairfax Boulevard to Griffin Drive. Uh, the project is currently in the right-of-way acquisition phase, and, and in fact, our people have been working on acquiring the necessary easements for quite a while. Uh, we are still pursuing three parcels out of that that are needed. Uh, the next phase for the project involves the relocation of utilities, but we really can't begin that phase until we acquire all the easements that are needed. Uh, once the utilities have been relocated, which uh, we understand would be a three to six month process, uh, we will then be able to advertise for bids. Uh, as you can see here, this project will widen uh, this section of Covell east of Coltrane to four lanes. And we're only using city funds in order to accelerate the time frame and get this project done as quickly as possible. Uh, we have approximately $8 million allocated in both uh, this budget year and in next year's 1920 budget uh, for the project. And all of that money comes from the 2000 capital improvement sales tax. Uh, the second item uh, is the closing of Arcadia Lake. Uh, just as an update, of course, unfortunately, with the recent rains and flooding that we've had, uh, uh, once again, uh, we've been forced to close the parks at Arcadia Lake. Uh, it was closed last week. The total time that it'll be closed will probably be at least two weeks, maybe longer. Uh, unfortunately, that also includes uh, last weekend, the holiday weekend opening that normally uh, kicks off the main lake season. Uh, and as several of you will probably remember, we've experienced several such closings as this in recent years. Uh, so it is very frustrating when this happens, but I think it's also important to remember that uh, when this lake was constructed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, uh, the primary purpose of the construction was for flood control. Uh, the secondary purpose was for water supply. And the third purpose was recreation. Uh, just for comparison purposes, the normal lake level at Arcadia is 1,006 feet. Uh, last week it reached a little over 1,018 feet, 12 feet above. I think now it's, it's even another foot above that. Uh, the highest recorded lake elevation that we have in the history of the lake uh, is about 1,023 feet, 1,023 and a half feet to be exact. Uh, that occurred twice, uh, once in the late 90s and also occurred in the early 2000s. So, and just another reminder, uh, when we had our budget meeting, budget hearing a couple of weeks ago, we talked about how vulnerable both the lake operation and the golf course are to weather. Uh, this is another uh, great example of that. Uh, we also talked about at that time that both of those operations would need subsidies in this coming year from the park tax fund. And the subsidy amount for the lake operation in next year's budget is $130,000. The third item, two trail updates. Uh, the Spring Creek Trail linkage to Integris Hospital and the Spring Creek Trail Extension Trailhead. Uh, this is the first one. It's approximately 1,300 feet long. Uh, this linkage trail to Integris is now complete. Uh, we very much appreciate Integris working with us to allow a trail uh, from the parking lot of their medical office building uh, to the trail itself. Uh, the parking area here that you can see can also be used as a trail head, and it's about a quarter of a mile length that will take people directly to the main trail. Uh, the trail extension is about 2,200 feet long, uh, and it provides an extension of the main trail uh, to an access area at the gatehouse to the park, as you can see here. Uh, all of the asphalt for this trail has been installed, but uh, the recent wet weather that we've had has delayed uh, both the sodding of the ground around the trail and the striping as well. Uh, that wet weather has also completed the prevention of the additional pavement that is needed for the trailhead parking lot. So weather permitting will get done with that in the near future too. Uh, Rudy Construction is the contractor for both trails and the cost for both of these projects is about $900,000. 
All of that money comes from the 2017 Capital Improvement Sales Tax Fund. Item four is a relocation of fire station number two. Uh, this project is near the northwest corner of Kelly and 15th, and it remains on target uh, for an August completion date, and that's even with the heavy rains that we've had. Uh, all of the front and rear apparatus bay doors have now been installed. Uh, they're working on the interior drywall. Uh, they're also working on tile work in the bathrooms. That's about 75% complete. And uh, the fire sprinkler systems and the grid ceiling tile system is also being installed. Uh, the rains have delayed, as you can see here, the uh, ground preparation for the driveway concrete, but I believe they're scheduled to start uh, setting those curb forms possibly this week. Uh, just as a reminder, this new and relocated facility will provide another station on the west side of the railroad tracks to help reduce response times. Uh, the contractor is Landmark Construction and the contract amount is $4.22 million. Uh, these funds will ultimately come from the 2017 repurposed capital improvement sales tax fund. And the fifth item is an update on sales and use taxes. Uh, we had another good month uh, for both, both sales and, and use taxes. Uh, this is our 11th monthly report of the year. Uh, sales tax collections were up about 7.5% from May a year ago. And for the year now, we're up about 4.86% in sales tax collections. Uh, use tax collections were up about 65% from May of last year. And for the year cumulatively, we're now about 38% above in that resource as well. Uh, for the general fund, uh, we're up about 10.3% for the year in combined sales and use tax collections. And as Warren noted here, we have already hit our combined budget number projection and we still have one month remaining. So very good news on sales and use tax. The sixth one is an update on traffic signals and turn lanes for the exit and entrance ramps at I-35 and Covell. Uh, the accelerated demand for this project because of high traffic volume has resulted in this need being addressed entirely with city funds and we have allocated three million dollars from the 2000 capital improvement sales tax to get this project accomplished uh, the project is currently under design with the triad design group and we hope that the project is advertised for bids by the end of 2019 